Welcome back to DXB Today, where we are uh, probing, taking a bit of a deep dive into the world of entertainment, the ever-changing landscape of entertainment here in the region. Our next guest is a content marketing expert helping transform the music tech landscape uh, with leading music streaming venture across the MENA region as a whole. Uh, reshaping artist engagement on the global front as well. Uh, welcome, uh, uh, Salam Khamid, to the, sta to the stage. <laughs> I've got all entertainment on us, haven't I? You know, you can't sell that intro we've now, gone, Tom. We've gone all <laughs> entertainment. We'll have to re-record that one. That's for sure. Slam, thank you so much indeed for being with us. Great to have you with thank us. Thank you for having me. Um, listen, Angami, a brand well known here in the region, known very well uh, here in the UAE. Um, is it? That, but but in, in a marketplace where there is so much competition when it comes to platforms and streaming platforms like that, just how sort of influential has it come? And why would Angami be the choice for artists here over others? Yeah. So Angami, we started in 2012 hmm. when there was no other streaming platform in the MENA region except for YouTube. Um, and YouTube is, is probably the platform, another platform for entertainment where you would go and watch anything. But there wasn't like one platform for music mm. where you would go and stream only audio. So we were the platform that began streaming here in the region. And it was quite challenging to educate the market on what the streaming platform is. Mm. There, was, there were no other services here in the region. It was really just starting fresh. And we had to educate the market not just on what a streaming platform is, but on the fact that you need to pay a subscription to be able to listen to such a service because there are artists and there are music labels and so many entities that need to get paid for their music. So piracy was the main yeah. go-to here in the region. So this is the part that we played here to educate the market that they need to pay you know, the, the fees and the royalties mm. for uh, the arts that they love. Interesting, you're, so you're head of content management and even, as you said, even in those 12 years since Angami started, um, marketing has totally changed, surely, for your artists. How have you learned to adapt to that then? Yeah, so if you look like the pre-streaming, like any artist would just, you know, record the CD and they just distribute it to <laughs> the, the, neighbor, the neighborhood next door and then uh, add a few posters here and there. And that, that would be their way of marketing. And then they would probably have a gig somewhere and that would be their, their only way. Mm. Today, with streaming, it's very, very different. Um, so at first, I want to start by saying, do you guys know how many songs get dropped every single day on streaming platforms? Oh, on, across all streams? Every no, no, uh, per platform. Per platform. Every day. Uh, it every was day. something silly like 80, is 80 or 800 million? 800 million? No, per day. Per day, it's 100,000. 100,000. I was going to say 10,000. 800 million? Who are these? Over the year. <laughs> so, no, no, no. no. Oh, backtrack, Tom, backtrack. <laughs> 100,000 songs, per day. tracks, per day. Per day. Well, per yeah. platform. Get dropped per, no, no. from the platform. Yeah, per platform, correct. Oh, yeah. Right. Onto, platform. yes. Onto, yes. yes. Hang so on. how do you decide you which okay? artists you then feature and showcase and promote exactly. out of 100,000? How do exactly. you? Exactly, exactly. Now you have the challenge on who do we decide to promote and to feature, and how do we market this? Quite. That's that's the challenge. So there is the job of the streaming platform, but there is also, the artist plays a key role here, and their music label and management as well, because the artist needs to establish their identity. They need to know, they need to strategize, they need to know who they're addressing their music to. And from there, the music platform can come in and then try to share that art story and help that artist reach to a new audience mm. in, in the entire world. Well, it sounds like this is a great opportunity to showcase local talent. Mm. Yeah. As we spoke earlier, is how, do, how can people, homegrown um, brands, actually promote themselves in the region? Are you leveraging this kind of algorithm um, for to promote homegrown talent? Definitely, definitely. Um, we have very strong algorithms when it comes to recommending local artists onto different audiences. Uh, so something that is really, really cool about Angami is that it doesn't matter whether you are a local artist or Class A, Dua Lipa, or Taylor Swift. Um, whenever you are singing a certain genre within, you know, let's say pop music, you would also have the chance to get recommended within the cues of big artists, mm -hmm. as long as, you know, your type of music, uh, 
you know, some, some technicalities within the music production fall within the similarity of other arts as well. So this is one of the ways of how we help local artists get featured alongside global names. And we're talking about a huge audience that we have. Like yeah. we have 120 million registered users on the platform. In the like we're the platform that connects all of the Arabs around the world. Mm. Wow. So saying that then, if there is someone watching at home, a homegrown mm -hmm. artist, how do they get their music onto Ankhami? Like, and how do you make those decisions? Um, it's actually pretty simple. So a few years back, back when the industry was, you know, here in the region was like, you know, very young, uh, we created a platform for Anha called Anhami for Creators. And why did we do that? So a few years back, if you wanted to publish a song onto a streaming platform, let's say Anhami, you would need to go to a distributor and pay a certain fee and then get your music up there. We made things way easier for artists and labels. So we told them, you just create an account on Alhami Fair Creators and then you just publish your song right. right on there. We just like add a few steps to check that the audio is okay, that you know, that the song doesn't, uh, isn't like any controversial or anything and just we, we just publish it there. It's fantastic. Yeah. Salam, thank you so much for coming on our show and for all that invaluable advice, I'm sure everyone watching who is a, an aspirational artist is uh, really appreciative right now to have you back on our show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Well, we're going to take a moment right now to get to know our guest co-host today just a little bit better. Sarah, if you can say, uh, Salam, if you can say right there. Katie, over to you. It is that time. Sarah, now we have to do a little thing called DXB in 60. Uh-oh. Si don't worry. The questions are all about you, so hopefully you know all the okay. answers. Uh, 60 <laughs> seconds to answer as many as possible. So we'll have 60 seconds on the clock, and we'll start in three, two, one. Let's go. If you weren't in the marketing PR field, what would you be doing? I would be mentoring young women. Oh, that's yes, I love Actually, it. Actually, you would be amazing yes, with that. purpose. I love it. What was your first job? My very first job, I was an entrepreneur. I was lo mowing lawns. I was a, uh, had a lawn mowing business, and then I would hire my brothers to mow the lawns, and I did customer service for them. I love that. <laughs> you hired your brothers. That's great. What is your motto in life and in work? Ooh. I would say double bottom line. You have to, profit's important, but purpose is just as important. Oh, nice. So I, I like to make sure that everything I do has a purpose to it. Nice. What superpower do you wish that you had? I wish I had the ability to read minds. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the last thing you Googled? Last thing I Googled is what to wear on DXB today. <laughs> and last question. <laughs> Why Dubai? Dubai, safety, fun, their long live ambition. You can do and be anything you want to be here. Lim that, limitless possibilities. That is a great answer. Sarah, thank you so much. You're there we welcome. go. We've learned everything we need to know me. about Sarah. <laughs> indeed, we have. Sarah, can't thank you enough for guest co hosting. Thanks so much indeed for joining thanks us. Thanks for it's having absolutely me. Absolutely amazing to have you back on with us. And Salam, thanks so much indeed, it's been for joining us here on Pleasure. the show on the sofa. Um, we are almost done, but. There's still plenty to come. Talking of entertainment, be rude of us not to play out with a bit of entertainment. Stay with us coming up next, live performance from Toy.